Winks Nursing. Code blue? How is this a code blue? This is code rainbow. He's clearly gay. You don't see the the way he's trying to die? He's gay. Don't you dare die on me. Where is he? What are you doing? Um obviously I'm giving him booty to mouth CPR. Booty to why not mouth to mouth? He's dying. Well, I don't have the best lungs, so I have to use my booty. Trust me, this is way more effective than mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR. My hole uses the gas 9000. This hole has moved mountains! Get the fuck out of here before I call 911. <laughs> Hi everyone, so I usually don't do this, but... But before we start this video, I just wanted to say that I will not be covering the cat situation that you've seen on TikTok, if you have, the one with the TikToker and the cat. Whereas some of you might know that the cat did pass away, so rest in peace to that cat. As soon as I saw that, my stomach dropped, I ran to my cat, I hugged her, because the whole situation is so messed up. I really don't have the heart to cover that topic. But moving on, on today's video, horny nurses. <laughs> For some reason, TikTok nurses have become so horny lately. And I say TikTok nurses because I know nurses are not actually like this. It's just nurses who actually film TikTok videos. Oh my god. Hey, good for her because if I was at a hospital and if my nurse didn't know how to dance and like how to throw it back and twerk, I would tell her to get the fuck out of here. The good thing is that not all these nurses are horny, you know, but there's also a lot of nurses and doctors that are making TikTok videos and especially during the worst time that was COVID where the hospitals were crazy full. I remember so many hospitals didn't have space for all these people that were coming in with COVID. But you know what some of these doctors were doing on TikTok during COVID? Over time? You guessed it right, they were dancing. Corona make you lose control? And this happened during Corona, and I know damn well that hospital was packed. While well, these doctors are over here like. <laughs> Hashtag hot nurses. Hashtag COVID-19. Hashtag dancing nurses. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn, they are so busy. You're not wrong there. They were definitely busy. They were trying to get that dance right, you know? This is why it takes four hours in the waiting room for Motrin. Shameful. Well, in that case, I would just... And there was actually a nurse who was shaming one of her patients because... What did he say? Their pain is a 20 on the 0 to 10 pain scale while munching their ch chips. So him eating chips is what bothered her. Let me understand this. You made a TikTok claiming a patient said that they were in 20 out of 10 pain. But since you caught them eating potato chips, there's no way that that's true. You can't eat when you're in pain. I know my audience way too well and I know at least 70% of us would eat while we're in pain. If you spent less time reading convenient theories for me monthly, you would know that crunchy foods have been linked to lowering levels of cortisol in the body. Oh. Cortisol is released during high levels of stress. When someone is in a lot of pain, they're under a lot of stress. They release cortisol. Crunchy food, potato chips, seems like they're self-soothing. And isn't that what you want them to do? I knew it. This is why the entire time I've been eating chips. Not because I like eating chips and they're so tasty, but because I needed it to kill this pain that I have inside, this depression and whatnot. It was chips. Chips have been saving my life this entire time and I thought they were bad for me? Kids, do not let anyone tell you not to eat chips because chips are saving lives. Oh, and make sure they're crunchy because if they're not crunchy, what are you eating, soggy chips? Ew. And now for the cake on the cherry, we're gonna be talking about Sarah, which Sarah over here makes all these guys that I just showed you look like a perv in front of a lawyer. Now, if you're asking what is the connection between that? Well, I don't know. I'm just thinking that the perv is worse than the lawyer. So in this scenario, Sarah is the perv and the other people that I just showed you, they were the lawyer? 
This is what Sarah is posting on her TikTok account. The patient has morning wood again, but we have to stay professional. Ask him if... Did I just read that right? Ask him if we can see it. I hope she's talking about their insurance and not their dick. The insurance, right? No, we can't. The doc will be here any minute. It's the insurance, guys. I promise you it's the insurance. You know how I was introduced to Sarah? This is the first video that showed up on my For You page of Sarah, our lovely innocent girl, Sarah. Yoo-hoo, fellas. I got my handkerchief. Oh my God, what if I dropped it on the ground? That's not where it's supposed to be. Because you didn't see shit, it's a video of our nurse, Sarah, uh, showing her coochie with panties on. Oh my god. Ew. Why is it green? Guys, you can't see this shit, but trust me, it's green. Why the fuck is it green? Sarah, you got something going on with your cooch down there. But Lazy, that wasn't that bad. Oh, she was making a joke about morning wood. Ha, ah, so funny. Whatever, it's a terrible joke, but let's move on, right? And oh, Lazy, but uh, okay, maybe she just showed her coochie with her panties while she was at work, but like, joke again, let's move on. Warning. Quick CPR guide. What is she... She gonna fucking shit on- is she gonna shit- uh, I think she's about to shit on his face. And her description says, performing CPR correctly is essential in a cardiac emergency. Here's how to do it step by step. She actually does give you the proper instructions, surprisingly. But then, if you actually read this entire thing and you scroll to the bottom, it says, remember, in a life-threatening emergency, performing any CPR is better than none at all. Your actions could save a life. And I'm gonna agree with her there that any CPR could save someone's life. And in this scenario, her coochie could actually save someone's life because of the crazy smell. And the only reason why I'm gonna say that her coochie smells is because of the green color that I saw. That shit was green. What is that smell? Is Shrek in town or something? Or is my cat near me? Cause I know her breath would kill John Cena. What has that cat been eating? Cause that's just, Ooh! You need vitamin B and A? Fuck does that mean? Vitamin blonde American girl. Actually, Sarah, you know what vitamin you need? You need vitamin G, Y, G, L, C, C. It's vitamin get your green looking coochie checked. So, you know, I have to do my investigation, right? Where is my investigator hat? It's investigation time. With pieces of hair from my for my old wigs. I was able to find her Instagram account. Apparently she is actually not a nurse, but she's actually a certified nurse assistant. Taking a look at her Instagram account. Oh, I clicked on the wrong tab. How did we get here? Oh no, do not expose my Instagram account editor. Blur that out. No. And on her Instagram, it says she's 20 years old and she works in an intensive care unit american cancer society oh sarah and then right underneath that she links her only fans account i'm not gonna lie this is the first time that i'm seeing an instagram account that has the american cancer society and underneath it we have an only fans account her OnlyFans says, I know medicine can be expensive nowadays, and that's why I thought I should take care of the next 10 of you for only $3 this <laughs> I actually thought she was gonna say something sweet and genuine. Like, oh, are you struggling and you, and you need money for medicine or whatever? Here's my donation link where I can send you some money. But, uh, this was actually pretty good. I gotta hand it to her. She's a freaky bitch, but this was a good one. Like, oh, you need med- I know medicine can be expensive, so, uh, buy my OnlyFans. You know that I was willing to break bank and spend that three bucks to check what was going on. Like, I was ready to call my bank. Hey, uh, so, uh, it's gonna be me spending the whole three dollars that I have on my account. I know, yeah, I'm gonna spend all of it. But I am not about to support a disgusting certified nurse assistant who does OnlyFans on the side. But most of the time, you can actually check how well someone's OnlyFans account is doing by their likes because the likes are actually public and the biggest that I could find was 1.3K. So let's just say she has a total of 1.5K. I need my calculator for this. 1.5K times three because it's always gonna be three dollars you know this is a marketing scheme that only fans girls do like oh it's only gonna be three dollars for a week and that week turn into interstellar week because the price actually never changes so times three that would be 4.5 wait did i do that wrong oh wait 
Oh, that is right. So she makes 4.5K a month. So 4.5K times 12. She's making $54,000 off of this OnlyFans. Now, is this worth risking your actual job that I looked up? It was a certified nursing assistant makes usually $30,000 a year. And uh, actually it is. She's making way more on OnlyFans than her actual job. So I see now why she doesn't give a fuck about posting these. Like she posts anything because even if they fire her, she has OnlyFans that she's making $54,000 a year. POV, I'm trying to cool down your morning wood because the doc is about to come in and I have to change your blanket? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, Accident. Oh my god. I think I just got pink eye. Why did she have to sit on my face? Why are you bleeding? I think my penis just killed himself. Why do I feel like this has happened though? I can just imagine an old dude having the morning wood and she probably did, did some freaky shit to him. And as soon as the doctor's about to come in, she probably like murdered the living shit out of that poor old guy's dick. <sighs> that was so- Oh, uh, Sarah, is the patient awake yet? Oh shit. When the patient is staring too obvious again, so you dab him? What the fuck is she doing? Someone call the cops on this bitch. POV, your coworker sees the doc coming and alerts you? Toyoko. What the fuck? Toyoko. Okay, Sarah, we get it, you're freaky, you can do your freaky shit and whatever, but this is literally SA. Did she just admit that her and her coworker have SA people before? That's what they meant when they said teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> oh my god, so funny. I almost forgot to call 911. We are looking for sugar daddies? Uh, it's you, Sarah. It's just... We are looking for a new patient. Oh, it was a joke! <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You know what I've noticed is that she does a good job at hiding her badge, because I can't usually see it. Even on the other videos, it's usually either turned around or too far for us to see who this girl is, because, you know, as soon as someone spots that badge and the name, the full name and whatever's on the badge, they're gonna snitch on her. Not that she actually cares, but I can tell that she's actually hiding her badge. Imagine you're dying, you're literally on your deathbed, you need help and Sarah is your certified nurse assistant. She's the only one that you got there because everyone else is busy You'd be dead. Oh My god Doctor nurse doctor someone I think I'm about to have a heart attack Let me see your penis penis what? What do I have to show you my penis? I'm, I'm dying! Listen, virgin, you don't have insurance, you don't have any money with you. The least you could do right now is, uh, showing me your penis. And this is the only chance that you'll get with a hot girl. Ew, first of all... Hot girl? Sure, keep telling that yourself, sweetie. God damn it! You expect me to risk my life for pizza? With But she's a 5'5 five, five blonde angel? You son of a bitch. I'm in. Sarah really does think she's all that. But a 5'5 five, five blonde angel? You know I'm a sucker for that. I can't say no to that. Sarah, where are you? Let me see you. Would you risk your life for me? Aww. No. What patients think I'll do after seeing their... Morning wood. Was she so obsessed with morning wood? Oh Jesus. Sarah, put that shit away. Yours doesn't even need to be loaded because you already have that green coochie going for you. This would probably kill someone. Maybe I'm the bad one here thinking that, oh, she's just doing sexual stuff here. But in reality, what if she's saying this? Because People keep getting morning wood and she kills them with the smell that comes out of her green coochie. Oh my god, I misjudged her the entire time. She's been saving people's lives with her green coochie. I owe an apology video to her. I can almost smell it. And she laughs at it. She took that as a compliment? Like, 
I don't think your coochie smelling is a compliment. Be honest, don't you enjoy looking at their morning wood? And she says, what do you think? Do you enjoy it? Sarah, come here real quick. Well, what did we learn from this? Stay away from CNAs that are called Sarah. Always check their badge. And if you're at a hospital and your CNA happens to be called Sarah, run also sad news and good news at the same time if you haven't noticed yet all these videos are being edited by another editor because my main one christy has not been editing and he's gonna be back on the next video guys he told me to say that i swear to god he said can you tell him that i'm coming back on the next one because i'm gonna make a crazy entrance well see you on the next one and also are you okay you seem pale it feels like you're lacking vitamin l and s what? You've never heard of vi vitamin L and S? That's vitamin like and subscribe on this video. <laughs>